I'm going to say this now that the semester is over, but honestly, this was the least overwhelming and stressful semester thus far. Now, that doesn't mean that it was easy or that it wasn't hectic or stressful. It just, in comparison to the other ones, it wasn't as bad. Going into it, though, I was worried it was going to be very hectic and completely overwhelming. And honestly, I was kind of prepared for a slight nervous breakdown because we had two nursing classes. We had med surg and we had psych, which to me meant that we had double the care plans, double the quizzes, exams, the projects, and so on. So I was really, really nervous about that. But once I got started, I realized that psych was set up a little bit different than med surg. So it wasn't as bad as I was kind of preparing myself for it to be. For psych, we had class um, once a week and clinicals were every other week. We had one care plan that we worked on throughout the entire semester, which was awesome because it wasn't as overwhelming. You got to really dive into the care plan and understand it and learn how to effectively take care of your psych patients. So that was really nice, very helpful. We had one presentation due for clinicals. Um, it wasn't bad. It wasn't a hard thing. We have presentations due every semester for clinicals for psych. Um, you just picked a psych disorder and, you know, gave all the information about it to your clinical group. We didn't have to stand up in front of the whole class or anything. It was just to our clinical group. Um, so that wasn't very hard. It was actually, actually went pretty smoothly. Going into clinicals, I was slightly nervous because I didn't know exactly what to expect. But I was also excited because I kind of like psych. Now, I don't see myself being a psych nurse for the rest of my life. I definitely couldn't do that. But I do like psych. It's very interesting to me. And I love all the people. But our clinical instructor was phenomenal, you guys. She made us feel so safe. The um, psych hospital we went to, everyone there was so welcoming. They they watched over the, the students and stuff. So it was a really great experience. I felt like... Um, I got to learn a lot. We got to see a lot. So psych clinicals for me this semester was awesome. And um, I stressed out probably a little bit more than what I actually needed to, but it worked out great. I had an awesome experience with psych clinicals, and I hope you guys have a great experience with it too. As far as studying for psych, I use flashcards for all of the different disorders, and I studied the main content for them because there is a lot of disorders. So for all of the smaller ones, I studied the most important information. Now for the bigger disorders, for example, like schizophrenia, I went, you know, we went in depth with that. So I really studied every piece of that thing. And um, with that, I did um, whiteboard. I have a whiteboard. I'll pull it out and I rewrite stuff over and over and over again. I say things out loud. I walk around my house and say stuff out loud. Um, I use flashcards. I do absolutely whatever I have to to help me learn this information and study it. Sometimes I have handwritten notes, sometimes I have typed notes, so it just kind of depends. But on the smaller disorders, it was flashcards for me, going over that stuff, the most important information for it. And then for the bigger disorders like schizo, um, I really dove in depth and did all kinds of different studying techniques for that. Now for psych meds, these were hard. Holy cow, you guys. I struggle so much with learning medications, it's ridiculous. We learned a ton of meds in the beginning of the semester, and then those medications were brought up throughout the entire semester, so that was kind of nice. Once you got through that big chunk, it was antipsychotics, but once we got through that big chunk of medications, they were just brought up throughout the rest of the semester, so it was kind of like a review. Now, we did have other medications that we learned, like um, anti-anxiety meds and that kind of thing as the semester went on, but it wasn't as much all at once. So learning those psych antipsychotic meds in the beginning was kind of helpful because as we went, we already knew them and it was like a review for those. Like I said, I struggle with learning medication. So if you struggle with learning meds too, my tip for you is to do absolutely whatever you have to do to learn the medications because you know they're going to be on exams, you know they're going to be on your final, you know they're going to be on NCLEX when we get to that point. So learn the medications. If you have to do flashcards, get a study buddy, have your, your spouse or friend or partner or whoever help you study, absolutely do that. Um, come up with uh, just weird ways to remember them. There was one med for psych, and I don't remember what class it was in, but what we needed to know for this medication was that it causes seizures and it was safe in pregnancy. And the word CAR was actually in this medication. I have to see it to remember it, but the word CAR was in there, and I remember thinking CAR. Okay, mom is, the mom is driving her car. She's got her kids in the background, so this is safe in pregnancy. She has a seizure and she wrecks her car. That's that's how I remember, I mean, it's an awful scenario, but that's how I remember this medication. So like I said, do absolutely whatever you have to do to help you remember the meds. Even if you have to come up with stuff like that, that's what I had to do. It worked, it got me through it. And looking at those, if I look at those meds now, I, I remember them and I'm like, oh yeah, that's the one, you know, that's safe in pregnancy and it can cause seizures. So you have to be careful and it just had the word car in it. So um, that worked out fantastic for me. But do whatever you have to do to help you learn the meds. Now for med surge, we had class twice a week. 
We had clinicals every single week. We had seven care plans total due. We had um, a pediatric presentation, which was due towards the end of the semester. Um, that was the same concept, except for this one, we did a PowerPoint presentation instead of a poster board presentation. Basically, you um, choose a disorder, disease, or whatever, and then you present that to the clinical group. Same for psych. Um, if we got to go to surgery, we wrote a paper on on um, what surgery was done and, and kind of go into detail about that. That stuff will be outlined in your syllabus on how that goes. Um, when we went to the cath lab or endo, we wrote just like this um, one to two little paragraphs about what we saw, just kind of explaining everything on that. And I think that was it for clinicals, if I remember correctly. We also had one skills day this semester where um, it was actually a very long day. We had a cardio exam that morning, and then after that cardio exam, we had skills lab. We was there till like, I don't know, 6 30, 7 30 at night. It was a crazy long day, but that's okay. Um, for skills lab, we went over IVs, we went over chest tubes, we did um, EKGs. We learned how to use the infusion pump. We went over um, blood transfusions a little bit. We didn't go in depth with that, but we did hit on that just a little bit. We recently got a simulation lab installed, which is awesome because it has the mannequins that breathe. You can listen to their heart sounds. They're hooked up to the monitors. It's like a fake little hospital in there, and it's awesome because you can actually you actually feel like you're you're getting more experience because you're in here with these uh, mannequins who are breathing, who li you know, all the things. And so that was awesome. We haven't really got to play around with it much. This semester we did get to go in. We listened to heart sounds, lung sounds. We um, did our EKG stuff in there. So looking at the strip and stuff and determining, okay, this patient is in AFib or this patient is in VFib and then what are we gonna do? And so that was really helpful. It really kind of helped hone in those skills. Obviously it's not a real patient. It is a mannequin, but you feel safer in there in that scenario. So that was really nice, especially, I mean, I'm from a small town, you guys, so this was like a big deal that they they actually got this simulation lab, um, and it looked phenomenal. I absolutely love it. I hope next semester we get to go in there a lot more. For med surge, we went over cardio, respiratory, neuro. Those were the content-heavy, massive chapters. Those were so overwhelming, so much information. And if you guys go over big units like this, my tip would be to start studying as soon as possible. As soon as you get that information, start studying that because there's just so much information that you can't, I mean, you can't comprehend it all at once. So study in sets as you go. That will definitely help just kind of breaking it down. Okay, learning one disorder at a time, learning one disease at a time, and then moving on to the next one. Now, personally for me, I don't usually start studying for an exam until about two to three days before the exam because if I start a week before the exam, I'm not focused. I'm all over the place. In my head, I'm thinking I've got plenty of time, just kind of go, I mean, it's not like a good study session versus if I'm studying two to three days out before this exam, I know in my head, like I have to learn this information. And so my study sessions are more focused. Now, when it comes to cardio and neuro and respiratory, I did have to start studying a lot sooner because they were bigger, um, bigger chapters. But for the other things that we went over, like GI, liver, we went over peripheral vascular and um, the reproductive system. So those ones I, I just started studying a few days out before because they weren't as much. I mean, it was still a lot of information, so don't think it was these little tiny things or whatever, but um, it just wasn't as much as cardio, respiratory, and um, neuro. As far as studying for these go, I mean, same thing. You can do flashcards, you can do handwritten notes, type notes, get a study buddy, use a whiteboard, say things out loud, whatever you have to do. Um, I have a video coming up here soon on different ways that you can study while in nursing school. So make sure you subscribe and you hit the bell so you get notified whenever that video gets uploaded. Shameless plug. And hopefully that video will help you if you're, if you're struggling with how to study while in nursing school. We had a lot more quizzes this semester than we have in the previous, which was nice because it actually helps you whenever you're studying for an exam because you've already studied a lot of the content for the quiz. I used to complain about quizzes um, until I learned, you know, this this is actually helpful. It can help help your grade. I mean, it can also fail you, but it can help your grade. It helps you study for the exam. So we had a lot more quizzes this semester, which was really helpful, especially for those big, big chapters because the quizzes were like over one or two chapters. So you really studied those to get a really good grade on these quizzes and then, um, you know, the next quiz was over a couple more chapters and then by the time the exam got here, it was kind of like a really good in-depth um, review session for it and a really good study session for it. So the quizzes were nice. There was a lot more of them, uh, but it was definitely helpful. For med surge, we went over medications throughout the entire semester. 
those ones weren't as hard as psych medications because like I said, we went over that massive chunk of them there in the beginning, but these were just sprinkled throughout. Now I've watched some other nursing students here on YouTube talk about having an actual pharmacology class. Our nursing school does not do that. We don't have a set farm class, which I'm kind of thankful for. We learn meds throughout the entire program. So it's not just one class going in and learning the meds and then reviewing them as you go. It's we're learning them and reviewing them and stuff as we go throughout the entire throughout the entire program. So that's kind of nice. It's not all at once. It's not overwhelming, but uh, it's still hard for me. I still struggle with learning medications. We also had two HESI exams this semester, which was awful. The med surge one wasn't as hard as the psych. The psych has you guys, that was so hard. I did not, I didn't do terrible, but I didn't do that well on it either, which sucks. Um, and that I'm sharing this with you guys so you know if you ever felt it, I've failed exams before, I've bombed stuff, I've messed up stuff, like it happens. Don't beat yourself up about it, but that was awful. That was really hard. Um, it was probably the hardest HESI that I've had thus far. The OB one was pretty hard, but this one was definitely the hardest. We also had two finals, you know, obviously one for med surge, one for psych. And my tip for studying with finals is to make a final study guide. I do this by typing them up because I can type them up so much faster than I can writing them. And the goal is to get them typed up and then actually start studying them. But what I do is I make a study guide that has the most important information from each disease or disorder or whatever, and it all goes into a guide. And then I study from that guide. Because look, there's so much information that whenever you go to set, to study for your final, which what we have usually have like a week, maybe a week and a half if you're lucky to study for a final. So going back through and trying to remember all of that information from the entire semester for two nursing classes in a week and a half is impossible. It's not going to happen. Obviously, sh you should already know the vast majority of this information anyways because you've already went over it. You've already studied it for exams. But I like to make a study guide because it helps me focus on the most important information and kind of give me a good refresher on the things that were really important. Now, how do you know what's important to put on this study guide? Well, did your instructors give you any 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 tips, any little points throughout the semester? It's like, this is really important or, hey, you guys, this is this is really important information. Obviously, throughout the semester, you need to be highlighting that. You need to be starring it, marking it. That's that's going to be important, and you definitely need to add that to your study guide. You need to um, know the interventions. You need to know the medications. Definitely know math because you know math's going to be on there. Um, if there's any kind of list or steps, know those because those could be select all that apply questions. And obviously, I don't know how your instructors set up your exams. This is how we do it. Um, this is kind of the way that I've learned it with our instructors. Um, but I just make study guides with what I think is the most important information or anything that they've said was important or that was on previous quizzes or exams. And I'm like, oh yeah, that was really important. So then that goes on to my study guide. Interventions, signs and symptoms, medications, math, and any kind of list or um, steps or processes or things like that are always on there because usually those end up as um, select all that apply questions, which are awful. So that was my semester in a nutshell. It's a lot. It's, it can be overwhelming. It's definitely a hectic semester, but you guys, if I can get through it, you absolutely can too. There is no doubt in my mind whatsoever. I know that you can do this. I have, I'm to a point where my brain just doesn't want to accept information anymore. It's kind of like a chunky bowl of soup. <laughs> what an analogy. And nursing has already taken over my life. It's starting to take over my common sense. So I'm kind of getting dumber as I get smarter. It's this weird thing. Like my common sense is just disappearing as I go because I have to get rid of something in order to learn the nursing stuff. So that's apparently what my brain decides to pitch. So I'm at a point where I have to work twice as hard to remember things because I'm just, it's information overload for sure. Like you're definitely going to hit that point. You may even feel like you're losing it. You may feel like, like you're going crazy. You may be like, oh my gosh, this is just so much. You're constantly thinking about nursing. You see people out in public and you're you're kind of doing an assessment on them or you see, I mean, just it's constant. It's all the time. And I have a feeling this is going to be for the rest of our lives. It's not just through nursing school that once we become nurses, we're going to be constantly assessing people and, and things like that. So get used to it, I guess. I don't know. Like I said, you may feel like you're losing it and all you're thinking about is nursing, but you can get through this. You absolutely can. If I can, I know 100% for sure that you can too. If you have any questions, you need any help, let me know, guys. I'm here to help you guys. I'll be more than happy to answer questions or whatever. Just comment down below and let me know. Make sure you come hang out with me over on Instagram, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.